Welcome to Kim's Creations. I am going to use this board that I got at Michael's. Because I'm doing something that's three-dimensional, I wanted to make sure that I stamp the back first. I'm going to try and make a snowflake. What I want to do is I want to paint the base of this with blue. So I'm chosen um, pearl sky blue and I'm just going to paint it on. As I'm getting on with this, I want to thank Aishu from Aishu's Crafty Kids Club and Donna from It's Art by Donna for putting on this open snowflake collaboration. There'll be many different artists participating and all you need to do is click on the playlist in the description below and you can follow along as videos get added in. So make sure to check back to see if any new people have popped up. Thank you for being here. Now let's get back to this chilly show. I am back and my base is dried. Some of this glitter did stick on, but a lot of it is loose. I'm not worried about it because I am gonna put a resin top over it. So I am going to use these beads that um, are the Ashland filler, decorative filler, and I'm gonna use them to try and create a snowflake on here. Oh, this could be interesting. All right. <laughs> I'm going to add the resin very slowly over the top of this because I was very careful about <laughs> where all those um, glass beads were and then especially that tube fetti which just you know had a mind of its own and would pop up here and there. I still had to go back and kind of put things back in line but not anywhere close to what it would have been had I just dumped the resin on there. Plus, because it's two-dimensional, I really wanted to make sure that the resin got through all that, um, all the glass, and made sure that it all stuck together. And it did. And uh, I think the outcome is pretty darn amazing. But let me know what you think. Coming up next. Now, if we go back to our childhood roots and make snowflakes, so take a regular sheet of paper, and what you want to do is make it square. So we're just going to line up the page. Let me see. Again, lining up the edges here. Did I do a good job? Not really. All right, let's go back this way. Should have done it this way. I'm out of practice. All right. All right, make a really good crease. Hold it back the other way. And then, that 
easy to rip. Fine. Okay, so now we have the triangle. We are going to fold it again. Now, we are going to do thirds. So I try and cross it over as best I can. Just something like that. Press that down. And now we have this package with these points and we're gonna cut them off. So we got the scissors. There we go. Push those away. So now we have our little envelope. This is gonna be the center of the snowflake when it's unfolded. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna mark out with a pencil areas that I want to cut out. The big thing to keep in mind is you never want to cut the whole side away from any one of these edges, or your snowflake will just completely fall apart. There, you can just make, I think I'm gonna do like a little V there. Um, maybe I will do some curves. So I'm gonna cut these away. Now, let's see, what do I wanna do? So this part I'm not gonna cut. I'm going to do just kind of a freeform edge. I'll do something similar on this side. Not matching, but close enough and let's see maybe I'll put some maybe I'll do loops everything here is soft so I'll do loops and I'll make them offset so now you know where to cut so this part I'm cutting and if you find it easier to do that to mark where you're gonna cut that would be great. So keep in mind, here I'm keeping this edge there and there. And on this side, I'm keeping this, this, and this. So here's my, my cutout. Let's open it up and see what we get. Open it carefully so you don't rip anything. And there we have it. Beautiful snowflake. All right, shall we do one more? We'll do one more and I'll speed this one up. So here we have two big snowflakes. Don't forget, we can also make more with these ones. So let's not let this paper go to waste. We can do the same thing here. And 
we can create little snowflakes. So, now, what are we going to do with these? Well, you can string them and hang them to create a snow flurry. Let me show you. And here is my own personal snow flurry. And I did it as part of a scene that I created with little gnomes sliding down my banister as if they were sliding down a snow hill. I put the little tiny snowflakes onto the top and I hope you like what you see.